Hi, campers. Welcome to week two of Camp Learn A Lot. Um, this week, we are going to finish our final three stops um, in order to save the um, South Asian sun bears. So we are three stops away from saving them and their habitats. They're counting on you still. Okay, so today we're going to be finding some equivalent fractions. And remember, an equivalent fraction just means that it's a fraction that is equal to one another. So we can find some equivalent fractions in a couple of different ways, and we're going to review those ways today. So one way is to think about a number line. Because remember, equivalent fractions are at the same point on a number line. So if I had the fraction 1 half, okay, right directly in the middle of a number line. I'll put a point there to show it. And I wanted to find an equ a fraction that was equivalent or the same. I could compare number lines and this one I will break up into fourths. So let's see, I would have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Make that a little bit smaller. Okay, so comparing one half with this number line that is broken up into fourths, we can see that two fourths is at the same exact point on the number line. So that means that one half is equivalent to two fourths. Now we can also check this by doing our cross multiplying or fishing. So remember, we multiply right across the numerator times the denominator. Four times one equals four. And then we'll do the other side. Two times two equals four. Four and four, they are the same. So these two fractions are equivalent. So that is one way that we can find equivalent fractions. Now I'm going to show you another way. Okay, another strategy that we could use is multiplication. So if I have a fraction 3 sixths and I wanted to just make up another equivalent fraction, I could use what I I could use multiplication by multiplying I'm going to use the number 2 because that is an easy number to use. I'm going to multiply 2 to the numerator and the denominator. And what I will get is an equivalent fraction. So 3 times 2 equals 6. There's my numerator. And 6 times 2 equals 12. There's my denominator. Now I'm going to cross multiply just to make sure that that made an equivalent fraction. 6 times 6 is 36, and 12 times 3 is 36. So those fractions are equivalent. 3 6 is equivalent to 6 twelfths. All right. Um, so if you want to come up with an equivalent fraction, in my opinion, this is the easiest method. Just use times two. It's very easy to do. Um, just multiply your numerator and your denominator times two, and you'll come up with an equivalent fraction. I'll give you guys another example before I set you off to do your work and save those sun bears. Okay, we're going to do four fifths. So I'm going to multiply. The numerator and denominator, whatever I do to the top, I have to do to the bottom. I'm going to use times 2. 4 times 2 equals 8, and 5 times 2 equals 10. Now I'm going to cross multiply just to make sure. 4 fifths and 8 tenths. I'm going to multiply. 10 times 4 is 40. That's a 0. And 5 times 8 is also 40. So these fractions are equivalent or the same. 
I hope this lesson helped remind you guys a little bit about equivalent fractions. And good luck on the assignment. I know that you will do great. See you.